What is going on my Super Sandwiches? Ramstar here and today I bring my third chapter review of the Dragon Ball Super Manga. So of course there's going to be spoilers in this video. This is your one warning. I mean, it's not really spoilers because if you watch Battle Gods, you know exactly what happens. Beer shows up and he beats up everybody. Same pretty much thing. However, there's a couple key differences that I'm going to kind of go over. And the first one is actually how the fight actually takes place. Now, in the movie, in Battle of Gods, what we see is, is Beer shows up, he gets angry because he doesn't get any pudding, and he beats everybody up. And then as the fight ends, uh, Vegeta gets really angry because Bulma gets slapped, and then he gets beat up too, and then Goku shows up. So that's basically the premise of what we saw in the movie. Uh, now, in the anime, we haven't seen uh, all of it just yet. We saw the fight start in Episode 6, and we saw in the preview what's going to happen, somewhat similar to what we saw in the movie. But I gotta say, what we see in the manga chapter is by far my, fi my most favorite portrayal of the fight yet. Now, if you want to read the chapter for yourself, just simply look up Dragon Ball Super Manga 3rd uh, chapter. It's all over the place. I can't actually link it here, but I can tell you it's out there, so just look it up yourself and you'll find it. But it's pretty freaking awesome, and it starts off right into action. Beer shows up, and he gets angry. He beats up Boo because he can't get pudding. So similar to the same story. And um, the fight just looks awesome. For starters, we see Gotenks go Super Saiyan 3 immediately. Now, in the anime and in the movie, well, in the movie at least, we haven't seen the anime yet. In the movie, we see him just go Super Saiyan 1 and he gets spanked. But this time, he gets spanked again, literally, in the Super Saiyan 3 form. And I thought it was really, really cool. Uh, and then, uh, before the Z Warriors can actually jump in and try to fight him, because we see Piccolo try to do the special beam cannon, Vegeta shows up and just says, Stop, there's no point. This is the guy destruction to which everybody goes, Oh my god, like the god, like, what's, who is this guy? And basically, uh, that's when Bulma steps in and tries to basically be the strongest person on the ship and she slaps him. So, of course, what we, uh, happens next is. Beer slaps her. And then this leads us into Vegeta's mutation. Now, I remember uh, with episode 6, uh, it previewed quote unquote Vegeta's mutation, which we all thought was going to be Super Saiyan 3, but in the manga at least, he goes Super Saiyan 2 and absolutely just destroys Beerus. Well, destroys in terms of he does actually some damage. However, as he is tossed in the air before uh, Vegeta does his heat dome attack, then we see uh, a signature move with Trunks. Uh, it looks like Beerus isn't even phased at all. He even sighs in the middle of the attack. So, as uh, just like in the movie, it doesn't do anything. But it's really cool to see how he gets angry and just starts beating him up. And seeing this in a manga uh, really has me excited for episode 7. I'm really hoping that this happens exactly the same way in episode 7. Because, I mean, I, I like what happened in, in the movie, but I feel like there's so much more potential to making this fight scene so much more uh, epic. What did you guys think about it, actually? To those who have read the third chapter let, chapter, let me know in the comment section below how you felt about that fight. Now, the big difference. Now, this is the biggest difference yet, and I'm hoping this happens in the next episode of Dragon Ball Super. The, or at least the next couple. The biggest difference between Battle of God's movie and this is right after Vegeta blasts him, it goes straight to uh, Elder Kai and Supreme Kai who are talking about uh, what's going on in space. And they sense another planet get uh, d destroyed. Which is weird because he can't be Beerus since Beerus is on Earth. And uh, who else could be destroying the planets? To which they pull, uh, pull out their little um, magic crystal ball so they can see who it is. And they find Shampa and the yet to be named assistant floating around. To which actually the second they uh, uh, zone in on us so they can see what they're talking about. Uh, Shampa and the assistant, I guess, notice them and instantly transmission to the planet of the Kais to see if they heard what they were looking for. Now, as of right now, we don't know what Shampa's plan is, but we do know he's looking for the um, wishing orbs, which we know are the Dragon Balls. And it looks like uh, they are on their way to planet Namek, most likely, to get the big Dragon Ball so they can make the wish for whatever. To which then the third chapter ends with, we have to go to planet Namek and protect it, which I don't know how, what they're going to do, because obviously... Uh, just based on how uh, Supreme Kai and Elder Kai reacted, they're definitely nowhere near uh, Shampa's strength. So what are they going to do? Uh, but also, actually, I'll take that back. Before the uh, third chapter ended, right before Beerus blows up Vegeta, uh, Goku instant transmission around in front of him and then basically says, hold on a second, to which I assume is going to lead into the wish uh, to figure out how to become Super Saiyan God and then we get the fight between Beerus and Goku. So that's how the third chapter ends. It looks really freaking exciting and I'm actually, surprisingly, enjoying the manga a whole lot more than the anime and the movie so far, which is kind of funny because up until this point, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it that much. But yeah, that's pretty much what happens. I'm pretty excited. Now we have to wait another month though, which is not the exciting part, to see um, what happens in the fourth chapter. But by the time we get to the fourth chapter, it'll be kind of the same pacing. So that's kind of the cool thing about this is that the manga is keeping up, even though it's only three chapters out, it's keeping up with all the episodes so far, and that's pretty cool. So yeah. 
But anyway, this is my quick review. I mean, I enjoyed it. I uh, want to know what you guys think. What was your favorite part? What did you hate? What did you dislike? How do you compare it to the movie? And what do you expect in anime? Any thought you have at all, drop it in the comment section below. And we'll have our uh, Dragon Ball discussion like always. But other than that, I guess enjoy the rest of the day. Don't forget to leave a like right below if you enjoyed the third chapter. And uh, I guess I'll just take it from there. My name is Ramsal, and I will see all you awesome Super Sam's in the comment section below. Peace.